Okay, so now we're going to actually use, uh, get back to our Descartes rule of signs, okay? And we're going to determine the possible number of uh, positive and negative signs, okay? So again, what do we look at? Change of signs, okay? Well, if we look at positive roots, we want to look at, we want to keep everything positive. So I would say if we're looking at the positive roots, right, just don't bother, um, you know, changing anything. So this is one change of sign, right? Plus the negative, another one. And we've got another one, right? So now we have three changes of signs. What does that mean? We have, uh, it can either be three, okay? Three, it can possibly be three roots, right? Or one positive root, right? So those are possibilities, right? And I think if I take a look at it, it looks like it just crosses once. So it's actually just going to turn into one. But if we look at this just at face value using Descartes rule, we just see, okay, uh, if you were to have this question on a test and they said, uh, what are the possible number of positive roots? The, what you would answer is you could say three or one, okay? So let's look at the negative roots, okay? Because obviously if we have only one positive root, we might have some negative roots in there, right? So, because uh, it is a cubic, so it could, you know, it could, it could be doing all sorts of things. It could be crossing um, on the negative axis. So let's take a look at that. That becomes 5 times negative x cubed plus negative x squared minus negative x plus 5. All right? So this becomes, this negative comes out, so this becomes positive, right, 5x cubed, right? I think that becomes positive. This, what happens, the square does what to the negative? It gets rid of it, right? X squared, okay? So we do not have a change of sign there. This, of course, becomes positive, right? And this stays positive. What do we have? Zero changes of signs, right? So zero changes of signs, right? Signs, new, negative, roots, okay? And this is going to be one or three positive roots. Okay? So Descartes rule of uh, rule signs, so this is your answer here. This is your whole answer here. This is your answer for no negative roots. Okay? So, um, so yeah. So, so basically, uh, uh, we see that Descartes uh, rule of signs just gives you a, a, a sense of uh, how many positive or negative roots there are. Um, the question generally will be as simple as this. Okay? Just check them out. Just be sure to watch out for when it's an odd function and when it's an even function. That's really what's, what it's ultimately testing you for, to make sure you understand what happens to a function if it's been cubed or by, raised to an odd power versus being raised to an even power. Okay, so again, this is another way of uh, just uh, showing you uh, or telling you information about uh, a given polynomial. And uh, that is our section on the fundamental theorem of algebra. And thank you very much for using educator.com.